Cold start on the 90. Yeah, that motor sounds good. Right to work. Out you go. Get the old girl back into her spot. I just did this once, but uh, surprise, surprise, I got the old 94 running. Oh, well, barely. But uh, good enough to redo this one more time. good enough thinking that's far enough forward that's a fleet that is a fleet all right all of that stuff must go
Well, that turned out pretty okay. Um, this molding I actually took off of a second gen, and I just cut it to fit. Um, but what I did is I pulled the old stuff out that was not really held in by anything. Uh, put a bunch of clear outdoor window silicone in here, and then I'm using that to adhese this. And as it tacks up, I'm just going in and double pressing this down. And when it dries, dries, I'll come in here with some uh, cleaner, and I'll be able to clean this extra silicone off around the edges. But uh, it's pretty good. Way better than that piece that's just folded out was like that. So that's like, I want to say that's a successful DIY. And the windshield was still sealed um, with the silicone that was under there. It was just the, the plastic bit that was failing because it got hard. This one's still pliable as can be. But uh, we've got this little trim piece on that's been, that's been perma-siliconed. That's industrial grade. This was the good stuff that I used to adhere this to the bracket. Uh, we got our windshield motor in with our wiper. This is an OEM grommet that I found at the junkyard. Not the one that I found lately, but I found this one with a brand new motor, wiper motor. So I assume when that motor went in, Mopar or Chrysler, whatever dealership, Dodge, doesn't matter, had access to the grommet still. So I have this with the old motor. I have a new, that, that wiper motor won't fit this one, but it'll fit a third gen. So this is technically off a third gen, but it fits the first gen. So they, they, they're interchangeable. And there'll be more coming on that or already has come on that depending uh, one of the subscribers uh, gave me a lead on some dormant grommets they're actually pcv grommets for like a jeep wrangler from like the 80s but apparently they fit this perfect so we're gonna find out i ordered a, a few of them online we're gonna we're gonna try them out and if they fit i'll be super happy and I will uh, let you guys know what that number is. I think it's Dorman 42059 off the top of my head. But we'll see. Anyway, that's an OEM one that's like brand new. So that'll work for us. Just, yeah. Sweet. And the wiper motor all works. And I also gently bang this. This was folded completely over. I pulled it out a little bit. But, uh,. Honestly, that's going to do it for the hatch. It's all the work I'm going to do on it until it comes to maybe f pulling and filling some of this at some point, if it ever gets a full body work. But for now, it matches the rest of the vehicle. And it's functional. Rita, no, Scott Staff is next up. Creed lead singer. He's 50 today. You two's The Edge. Notice The Edge doesn't it never really has guitar solos uh, but he plays uh steady uh whatever he whatever he calls that never really solos though uh but uh, he's good they uh, made a lot of money no doubt about it deborah norville is 65 inside edition anchor formerly from the today show donnie most ralph mouth from happy days is 70 today larry wilcox Ponch's partner john baker on chips 76 for him. Phil Ballsley, great name for a guy who's a baritone. Uh, the Statler Brothers, um, he's the low singer in the Statler Brothers. He's 84 today. Connie Stevens, the 60s sex symbol, still going at 85. And Dustin Hawk, and could have, would have, should have been 90. He died six years ago. And I left one out so I could play their song for you, um, or a song from these people. It's Ricky Rocket. The Poison Drummer, he is 62 today. And for his birthday, we'll play nothing but a good time. The Poison, a 93-1, Plato hits.
All right, so I got everything zip tied up out of the way so I can see this floor here. And this is what we're dealing with. Um, obviously, they figured out that bolting the pedal on from under the vehicle was a bad idea because they changed that in 91. But uh, I got that out so I get the firewall up. I ended up cutting it right there. But uh, one skylight has opened up so far. Uh, I'm going to start um, using a, a, like a scraper to scrape as much rust down as I can. And we'll take the flat disc to it. There were zero holes and then there was one and now there's a lot um we've opened up a few holes with just with my my little pick scraper tool thing it's a paint scraper that i've uh doomed to the life of uh rusty floors it's got a carbide bit on it though so it, or like a blade but it's uh it's fairing up okay i did the windshield with it and now we're we're beating the piss out of it on the floor here. There's a, there's a floor light. There's a couple more there. There's one there. A whole bunch over here. Pretty much nothing there. Nothing in that corner up there. Uh, we're going to take... I'm going to call this good for knocking all the loose stuff off. We're going to take that uh, Exo Rust or Evapo Rust. I see I get it wrong every time. That Evapo Rust and we're just going to paste it in. I might take some of the liquid and dump it in the low spots where there's not holes. But I'm sure it will all decide to find its way to the ground. So I'll probably just take the paste and paste all of this.
Okay, so we got updates here. So, hitch is gone. Uh, I've been waiting for our uh, floor pans to rebuild over there. So I uh, cut the uh, hitch off I didn't ever want to use or like. And uh, I got it, I kind of grinded it down crudely with the rest of that uh, disc that is. That's all of it. I, uh, I used all of the disc. Should I plug that? Uh, wiped it down real quick. Uh, Russ converted the bottoms of the um, rear quarters there. Did all the way across the bumper and back under here. Got the headlight taillights taped off. Same thing on this side. I peeled back. Um, this rear quarter is made out of fiberglass and uh, I don't know. But they uh, they built it out of fiberglass, so you know we'll uh, probably rebuild it out of fiberglass. Now um, I'm gonna try get a cut like here for this and then for the rear wheel hubs this I believe matches the front fenders so all a guy's got to do is buy two fenders cut them to fit then I have this body panel right here so you get this body panel up to about here and then you get the front fender to about here and then you get a cut off of some junkyard vehicle there I think that's my plan, long term. This is my short term plan. Long term, I should have the chrome bumper to match the front too. But uh, I believe this is the bumper for the plastic cover. So it's the original bumper per se, but the plastic didn't survive. I have the plastic front, but I don't. I like the look of the chrome ones better. But for now, I think at the very least, I mean, they're going to paint this like a light gray, or I'm going to try get a chrome paint and we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll make our own chrome bumper. I'd say it's worth a shot. It's not going to hurt. At least for now. But yeah, that's what I got going on there. And I just kicked over my dish soap. And then what we got going on in here is I kind of tapped the rust converter around the holes. I wasn't going to patch the those rust spots. Um, I got a hole there to fix. That's going to be a hole. That's definitely going to be a hole. That's a hole gonna be a hole over there and there's gonna be a hole right there gotta grind those down and clean those up and then uh up front here i don't know i don't know how well this is yeah it's maybe doing something i'm just gonna leave this stuff overnight probably all day tomorrow we'll just see what it does um whatever's left from there is what we're gonna go with um it just kept opening up pinholes so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet I mean, there's structurally, they're still there. We just want to seal up those holes. So I don't know if I just caulk it full of seam sealer or JB weld some of the pinholes or, and then seam seal it. Because I all the old seam sealer I had to pull out to get at the rust under it. I got to redo this front seam crudely and around these guys over here and the plugs and everything. But what I got is I got the firewall zip tied up there. I think I showed that. We're doing good, huh? Glass guy still hasn't put my glass in. It's not a big deal. Uh, we're getting there. Um, it's not going to rain tonight, so we're just going to leave it here. What I got to do now is I believe the O-ring for the pump here. Actually, this one doesn't leak. It's the 93 that leaks. This one's good. I, I have that other reservoir. It's, I don't know, somewhere in the pile of junk here. But it was basically brand new. So I, uh, I have it as a spare, but I think this one's fine. You know what it might be? It might be this leak, so you don't know when it's full. Yeah, that's what it is. It's this. This guy leaks on this. That's, I remember now. The uh, filler neck. So we could probably just replace the filler neck and be done with it. But we'll see what we end up doing. Yeah, I remember that now. Because it does work. We, we did end up spraying the rear window when we put that in. But... Um, I think I can kind of, my panel here is busted to shit, but I think I'm going to kind of piece it back together and I can put my panel in. I'll hook the speakers up and test them with the radio, um, which I can hook back up and then I can put this panel in and then I want to start working on, I have the new, like the plastic 
gears for the power windows. Get those put in. Then I can put the door panels on. Um, I want to come in here with my my fluid film, and I want to take just a paintbrush and just scoop it all in these. As you can see, they have some sort of similar product here, and that worked. But I want to fill these up too, at least for the time being. We're 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 getting there. I'm seeing progress. It's going going well. Um, maybe tomorrow, what I might do is I might wrap this this harness back up. Um, I got to run a new this wire's shot right here. It's burned over there. Um, to that door for this door sensor. And I can run that in, and then I can do these wires up here. It's not simple after work, as I am leaning on my paint. My that's dry. I'm gonna prime it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Holy crap, got home just in time. Come on, little buddy, in the cover. Hi, Coco. Alright, so this is what we ended up with today. 
Um, this is a bonus right here is getting this painted uh, blue. It's a darker blue than what the vehicle is, but this is the blue I kind of want anyway. And it's not red. So we got that in there. Obviously we got our V6 EFI badge. Now we come down here. I kind of I rust converted over and then I took some extra blue and I went over that rust hole. So that makes me feel better. And then we've got our bumper here, which I just put some clear on it. I don't know if I messed up going with the matte clear. Kind of what I had. I should have should have had a gloss, but I don't I don't mind it. I, th I think that looks fine. I should have went with a gloss though. We'll see we'll see how it dries. But uh, we got the bumper painted. I painted behind the bumper with that blue. So now we got a contrast, which is way better than it all being the same color. Um, obviously we got our our badges on here. So and then we also got this. Um, window rubber molding on silicone down so that window is sealed did the same thing over here and then we go ahead and let's look inside here and we've also um, rust converted well grinded down um, rust remove rust convert primed and now fiberglass the floor um, so I did a couple patches. There's a patch here. There's a patch there patch there and two patches over there in the worst spot And then we fiberglass the hell out of those and then I took what was left over and I just fiberglass the entire front piece here to cover any Little pinholes that I missed or didn't see So that should cover all of the the holes in the floor in the front here anyway I'm gonna have to get some more hardener for the rear Because uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work back there as well in fact, there's bigger holes back there than there are up here. Um, so that might require some metal work. This will be able to do with fiberglass. So once that dries up, I'm going to put a, a coat of, uh, probably another coat of primer over it. Whatever I've got in stock, um, really. I've gone through a lot of cans dealing with this. But once we go through that, this is done. Um, I'll lay the firewall back down and we can put the dash in it, really. So, how about that? That's where we're at, so that's where I'm going to leave it. starting to look like the floor again. Um, I don't see any holes besides the two here for the mounting plate. Looks good. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is I think I am going to go over this seam with an epoxy and just, just seal that up a little more. Make me feel better anyway. Otherwise, that's, that's pretty well done.